I'm just gonna do a normal day look today. Well, it's normal for me anyway. I'm gonna do two different colors on my eyes to kind of match my new hair. First, I apply primer. I'm using the Nivea Aftershave Balm. It contains a lot of glycerin, so it helps the makeup adhere to your face. Now I'm applying foundation, this is like a 24 hour matte foundation, it's really long lasting. And then I mix a little bit of white foundation because I'm really pale. And then I'm going to apply this with a foundation brush first as like a little base. The reason I add white to the foundation is because my foundation I own, it oxidises a bit so it gets more orange throughout the day which isn't good for me and then I just apply my foundation with a damp beauty blender. It gives a really clean finish to the skin. Compared to foundation brushes, they can leave a few streaks if they're not that clean. So the beauty blender is like a really good alternative to that. It's important to apply it to your neck as well, so the foundation blends with your skin. You just you use gentle tapping motions to push the product into your skin. You don't want to wipe the product around. And then I used talc as a setting powder because it's cheap and it just reduces all the oil from your skin. Especially um, when I do drag, I use a lot of face powder, so having talc is a really cheap alternative. It also doesn't add any color to your skin, which is really good for me. Now I'm going to apply a primer to my eye. This is MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. It really helps bright eyeshadows stand out. And also if you have oily lids, it's good for controlling that. Don't forget to apply some underneath your eye as well. And now I'm just brushing a subtle bit of powder onto my eye just to help the eyeshadows blend later. Usually I do both my eyes at the same time, but as I'm doing different colours in each eye, I'm going to do my left eye first and then my right eye. I'm using the Urban Decay Electric Palette, which is one of my favourite eyeshadow palettes. They're pressed pigments and so they really stand out, they're really bold colours. I really like the Morphe brushes as well because they're quite affordable and I think they're good quality for the price. And then this is a little Kiko blending brush. It's really fluffy, so it helps to diffuse the color out. I just go back and forth with different brushes until I'm happy with the blend. Not having eyebrows is quite useful because you can bring your eyeshadow up a lot higher. You have more room to play around with. I'm applying talc quite heavily underneath my eyes to catch any fallout so you can then brush it off later otherwise it might stain on your foundation. I'm mainly focusing this eyeshadow on my inner corners and outer edge of my eye, leaving the middle blank to add some glitter onto later. I'm also blending the eyeshadow underneath my eye. If you have hooded eyelids it's a good idea to put the eyeshadow above where your natural creases, otherwise when you open your eye you lose all that definition. Now I'm just applying a sort of glittery, shimmery eyeshadow with my finger. It really helps to push the pigment onto your eye. Sometimes you can use eyeshadows wet as well, that helps the pigment stand out. It's important with the electric palette, especially with the blue shades, to tap off any excess eyeshadow. Otherwise, that would be a lot of fallout on your face. That's one of the disadvantages of this palette. You can get a lot of fallout. Now, starting on my other eye, I'm using a pink pigment above my lid and just diffusing that out. That will act as a slight transition colour.
I'm applying some shimmery, glittery eyeshadow to the centre of my lid, like I did on the other eye. If you have trouble blending um, colours like blue, adding white first, your lid can really help. Pink is more of a skin colour though, so it's not that hard to blend. Now I'm going to add a tiny bit of eyeliner just where my lash line is. I'm not doing a wing today. Next I apply some mascara. Because I went out last night, my eyelashes don't look that good today, so sorry about that. I often wear fake eyelashes, but with this look, I don't feel like I needed to. Now I'm going to contour my face. I first use a uh, contour shade that isn't that pigmented. It helps blend out the contour that I do use. Um, I apply it to my cheeks first and then to my forehead. Then I actually use a grey shade because I'm quite pale and I like a strong contour. And I just diffuse that on my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead. When I do drag, the contour is way more harsh compared to my day looks. Again, I do the same on my nose. I use the light shade first and then the grey. I use a white from the Flash palette off eBay. I really recommend this palette. There's lots of cream shades in it, which are really pigmented. It's also good when I draw on eyebrows and I do a white line down the centre of my nose. I then bake my face a little bit. I use some talc on this very strange looking brush and I put it underneath my contour on the sides of my nose. It just makes the contour stand out way more. I then move on to lips. I line it with whatever lip liner I can find because I don't have a purple one at the moment. So today I'm using a Kiko red one, which is quite good. And then I fill it in with a Lime Crime liquid lipsticks. I really like the Lime Crime lipsticks. If you ignore the controversy about the brand, I really like their products. I just don't order off their website, so it's safe. The problem with liquid lipsticks is that it can dry out your lips a lot, so it's always important to moisturise before and after applying it. And now we're going to highlight my face. This is actually just a stargazer pigment, but it's really bright and it really catches in the light. I use this fake NARS brush I got off eBay. It's actually a really good knockoff. And I apply the highlight above my contour. And I also put a little bit in the inner corners of my eye. And now a really important step is to add some contour to the tip of your nose, but a little bit higher than the tip. I dust away any excess talc. And then I make any final touches to my face until I'm happy with it. 